Namaste everyone, Changa Bell here with the pose of the week. We're going to do a simple pose today, it's called Uttanasana, standing forward bend. The legs represent how we move forward in life. So Uttanasana, a lot of times our psychological or emotional barriers may show up in tight hamstrings, hence the term hamstrung. Uh, other times it's just because of overuse of muscles, but in any event, today we'll use our bodies to get into our inner state. So Uttanasana will stay in it for one to three minutes. Uh, I have some props here that you can use in case your hamstrings are really tight. So let's begin by having their feet hips width distance apart. You may be externally rotated, toes pointing out. So you want to point the toes in. That may feel like you're being pigeon toed, but just try to get the toes in alignment with the knee, knee in alignment with the hips. Same on the side. When you go over, try to have the heels, knees, and hips in alignment. I'll refine that and explain that in a minute. So you inhale the arms up, and you'd exhale forward, hinging at the hips. And then in the beginning, just let your body hang. Put your arms and your elbows and hang. So the head is hanging heavy, uh, the elbows are hanging heavy. This is a way to passively release the muscles. So you're going to breathe into the belly and on each exhale, pull the belly button back in the spine. That's going to release more. Here, if you're really tight, you can place your hands on the blocks at various levels. So you can be high, sort of medium, and of course, low. But as your body opens up, you can just release to the ground. You can stand on your hands. But remember to keep the ankles, knees, and hips in alignment. Don't lean back. Have it all straight. You can add a slight bend in the knees if you need to. But you want to be able to hold this pose and relax for several minutes at a time. When you're ready to come up, ragdoll up one vertebra at a time. That will keep you from getting lightheaded and dizzy. That is your namaste for today. Utanasana.